Hello, and welcome to the Academic Continuation Services presentation. We'd like to give you some information about the Academic Continuation Services program and then answer any questions you might have. Let's get started. Some quick facts about Academic Continuation Services, or ACS. The goal is to provide academics for students missing school due to isolation or quarantine. It is an optional program for parents and students. It supports students who will be out for more than four days. And students will complete five to 10 day learning modules in the Canvas Learning Management System. This is the online learning system used for the program. Students in the kindergarten to fifth grade will complete lessons that focus on math and ELA. Sixth through 12th grade students will complete lessons that focus on the core subjects of math, ELA, science, and social studies slash history. Now let's talk about the student experience. Students will have both synchronous and asynchronous learning sessions. Synchronous means students will have FaceTime with the teachers, but it will be on the computer through a Zoom-like meeting within Canvas. Asynchronous learning is the time that students are completing assignments on their own. Students will have daily contact with the ACS teachers, and they will have access to the same standards as their peers in the regular classroom. Students will receive a completion report for work they have completed in the learning modules. The ACS teacher experience will involve teachers communicating with their students within the Canvas LMS learning management system. The teachers will hold synchronous face to face but on the computer and asynchronous sessions. They will meet with students daily and they will send a completion report to the schools for completed module assignments. Here's what the process looks like. Step one, the school submits an ACS referral form. Step two, within 24 to 48 hours, students receive an email asking them to create an account and log in to Canvas, the learning management system. Step three, parents will be contacted by ACS staff to verify that the student has access to Canvas. Step four, the ACS teacher contacts the student and the student begins working. Step five, when the student returns to school, an assignment completion report will be submitted to the sending schools to share with teachers. That's ACS in a nutshell. Please be on the lookout for a frequently asked questions sheet on the ACS website TUSD1.org slash ACS. Thanks for your time.